I believe some of my issues might be easier resolved than I thought because there's a lot of roads right here that don't really have much of a use. So we might be able to just relocate a few buildings without having to destroy absolutely everything that we ever built. But just instead move a few people around. Give them a view of the sites. So we shall go ahead. Build a junction over here. And around here. And up here. Check out what the expedition has brought. The contract and those Perthorians must be here in Montoya. But where? The city sprawls before you under a pastel blue sky. Distinctive white walls and terracotta of Imperial La Corona glowing softly along the narrow estuary where the Mixcoatl meets the ocean. What the hell is a Mixcoatl? Yet tranquil it is not. Anxiety is written on every passing face. They must surely know who you are and what you seek. But finding one brave enough to help is a different matter. Alrighty. Then uh, we shall ask the locals. Your attaché hits it off with the harbour master. Lovely. Presenting you not entirely falsely as a fellow port official sympathetic to the Pythorian problem in the region. I'm sick of it, says the Montoyan. Whenever they come here, it's a nightmare for us. If you're willing to take action, it will be more my pleasure to assist. Out on the sun-baked rooftop, he points upriver. There, it's a Kasuna. A large, very verdant ranch wavers in the distance. The sanctuary of the Pythorians. I can't pronounce the same. Forever. Righty. So, good. We found it. Let's venture on. We need to deconstruct a little bit of road here. We need to con deconstruct a little bit of park here. More road deconstruction and this house needs to move probably too. But where? Where shall it move? We'll move it here. Just for now. We're going to not really mind all that much where we put people. They just need to get out of the way islands are being seized left and right that does not bode well for people All right, this isn't attached to anything here so I'd rather not put it here let's find a better space there we go All a biddle, a biddle, a little bit less than ideal what I'm doing here, I'm aware. But in the end, it'll all be worth it, I hope. Especially if we can manage to wrap it around and get some uh, power in here going as well. That would be amazing. But right, for now, we keep moving a few more houses. For progress. That's what's happening here. We're moving people for progress. And... Uh, I don't really see a place to put people for progress. Oh, there we go. See? Get a nice new place at the harbor. Isn't that sweet and beautiful? Free of charge for you as well. Paid by the government. Let's take care of those park situations here. What is this? This can go away as well. So from here we should be somehow able to move further. Let's just build. Oh no, this... Wait, 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 wait. We can take care of this. This road shan't be our undoing. It shan't. Indeed it shan't. There we go. Take care of that. Let's keep building our railway.
Right. Um, we might need to cross here. So we're going to move this over nowhere. But I believe we have a lot of these anyway. Yeah, we do. So we're just going to destroy this one. And keep on building our railway. Why can't I go over here? I do hope I can build bridges with this. Because if I can't, we're pretty much out of luck. Yeah, no, 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 okay. There's just not enough space here. So we need to move the road a little bit. Okay, yes, I accept uh, my failures and we're going to suffer monetarily. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, let's build a new road here. It, it'll all make sense. Uh, trust me. We actually don't need this. Well, we do need this piece. Come on. Don't be silly now. So this way we get over here. But not entirely around there. So we'll have to move the pigs around a bit. Let's move the pigs around a bit. That might be enough. We unlocked something. Not sure what. Whoa! That is truly efficient. <laughs> A little bit terrifying what that was. That just was. So we're going to just um, not do what I thought we were going to do, but instead do something different. And probably also have to move this over here. So this way we can pull these in a bit more. Okay, that should be fine now. I want to try and build along the river as much as I can. But as you can see, I'm not doing very well here. I'm taking huge chunks out of the land. The House of Pur. The prosperity contract must be here. Ah, uh, stop it. Stop! Bit. This is annoying, honestly. I need to turn off the sounds for these because it kind of takes me out of everything else I'm doing. The casona looks quite modern with its white walls and pleasant gables. There is even an adjoining orangery extending naturally towards the neat parterres of the sweet smelling garden. An arc of white gravel serves as a drive with long lines of equally white picket fence bordering the acreage, acreage I'm sorry, in a typically colonial style. Indeed, were it not for the unusual height of the perimeter and the shelters abutting it at regular intervals, armed guards no doubt stationed in each, it would appear much as any other estate. You consider your plan of entry. Okay, so crafting is our greatest success, John. So play it crafty. Send someone in dressed as one of the congregation. Let's do this. Your agent is more like Little Red Riding Hood than a Perforian acolyte. The disguise is entirely unconvincing. Who are you? Barks the guard, reaching for her pistol. State your intention. What should your imposter do? Let's hope she can talk her way out of it. Okay. Your persuasive envoy pretends to be new to the co congregation. The guard seems fooled, but then asks for a password. A passport? Repeats your imposter. Um, well, I have a feeling it might be Fuego, because it's pure and all fire stuff, so let's, let's go with Fuego. And it was wrong. God damn. An unfortunate loss, indeed. Uh, of course, the masked guard says calmly, but the moment your imposter passes the gate, they're seized. With little time now before the contract is moved on by foot or horseback, 
the rest of your brigade open fire. Okay, so let's get behind the senior officer in charge. Uh, there's no keeping you lot, you let down. We are dragon slayers, they cry, pulling the enemy from their saddles until the clamor is suddenly over. You will bury your dead later. Once inside your party meets with no resistance, only dread. The vestibule is a large open room with stairs on either side. A series of pre-Raphaelite panels depicting Pur, the fire mother, adorn the walls. In one she stands beneath a dark and cosmic sky, disciples at her feet, each holding a braid of her flaming hair. The more striking feature of the room, however, is the dome in the centre. At first, from below, it appears convex, but it's painted in every detail as a human eye. The oculus. A pinprick of sunlight falls from the pupil to an ominous platform, thick with ash. You cannot find that contract soon enough. Well, let's search the study. We have found ammonites. Which is nice. Thank you. Alright. Your brigade has the place to themselves. No sign of the contract. On the floor, however, is a rare fossil. Okay, let's check the assembly hall. Rejoice! The contract is right here, beneath the hinged cover of the lectern. Hannah will be pleased. With this in your pos possession, a war may be prevented. And the undeniable trouble it has taken to obtain it will be proven worthwhile. Cool. So, stuff has happened in between islands and whatnot and things. Oh, I need to turn those off. I don't care about my competitors. Hmm. Ah. Uh, 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 doesn't look like I have a choice here. I have to live with them. All oh, right. Well then, let us keep building at the railway that we were in the process of making a thing out here. Where do I even go with it? Probably, well, I can't go here. So I have to cross here somewhere and then cross here again and then relocate a few things here. And then finally, we'll, we'll have reached the point. So we go up to here. And over to here. And we cross back over here. And move down here. Move a bit of cattle around. I'll just turn this and put this like this. Right, okay. The expedition returns. Lovely. So we got the prosperity contract. Chance to clear our father's name. Um, not what I wanted to do. Okay, this ship. Well done, eldest. You have served both Isabel and the Empire greatly. Does not have what I want. I want. Where did the contract go? What? Ooh, what? Okay, I don't have to bring it anywhere. So what's happening? Something's happening. Certainly the royal fleet. one of the good children I mentioned. A little forward, but surprisingly helpful so far. Regard here, your majesty, the prosperity contract and our father's diary. 
The signatures do not match. And now, compare with a freaked document by our Uncle Edvard. Do you see? He forged the signature in order to impersonate Father. So, Edvard is the traitor. I certainly never authorized that silly Billy to act on my behalf. I declare the contract null and void. Then we too were betrayed. We will leave prosperity immediately, your majesty. Then, I suppose we'll not be sinking any ships today. Not even as a deterrent? Terribly sorry, your majesty, but I fear not. Well, in that case, I hereby declare prosperity returned to the good children to compensate the dead father, thereby ensuring Miss Saramento and Co. are safe from this purpurian nuisance. They are more than a nuisance, and they will never accept this. You must be careful. We hear you, Isabel. But first we return to Bright Sands and confront Uncle Edvard. His wicked masquerade is over. I am sorry you had to go through all this just to have justice. For the first time in my life, I know freedom. Oh, that's a bit sad. That's the first time in her life that she experiences freedom. Let's see what happens next. Edvard was the cause of all our grief. To see his face when he discovers we know. Edvard is behind this? He's pathetic. Whatever the punishment, the damage to Edvard is already done. All right, we have reached chapter four. The torch passes. Uh, I have no quests. Is as good as dead to me. Well, okay then. Uh, you took me out of Raywell building. I told you he was rotten, we confront Edvard this instant. I have so very many words for him. Wide blue horizons apply within. Uh, what? Okay. Prosperity awarded to the Golden Sibling. What do you want? A puzzle quest. No, thank you. No time for this. War between, yeah, okay. Golden Siblings, yeah, wonderful. Nice. Good. Okay, why did you not build my railway just now? Why did you only build this piece? Uh, come on, game. Don't be like that now. Uh, I want to build it in a way where it makes sense. Oop, oop, oop. What is the issue? Oh, I don't have enough steel. Fine, let's build as much as our steel allows, which is about... Yeah. There we go. All connected up. Now we just need to wait for another 40 steel to build this. And then we'll have some power up there. Let's see where we can move it to get the greatest impact, honestly. We just really need to have it there. No, it doesn't really matter. Let's leave it there. It's all fine. Uh, we can build somewhere here, maybe to reach them, possibly. Or we're going to upgrade these. Oh boy, this is not going well. Uh, this is not going well at all. Ouch. Only real way to deal with this is increase population again, or upgrade them. But we are heading straight for bankruptcy. Uh, we'll take care of it eventually. <laughs> 